Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the, the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're doing our review of Cream of Kentucky 12.3. Let's get into it. Alright, welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video, drop some comments down below for us. Uh, your thoughts if you had Cream of Kentucky 12.3 as well. Before we get into the video though, Matt. How can we win this big bottle of Weller sitting in front of us? Big bottle of Weller. Click this little link up here. Watch this video. Sub be a subscriber. One. Two, like the video. Three, comment in it. You'll get a chance to win this bottle of Weller when we hit 1,000 subscribers. This is the 1.75 bottle. It is huge. Why not add this to your shelf at home? All you have to do is drop a comment down below. It's that easy. Very easy. All right. All so, right. star of the show today. Cream of Kentucky. Cream of Kentucky. 12.3 batch three. Yes. Coming in what, 102 proof? 102 proof, yep. So this is a, uh, it's from J.W. Rutledge. He ended up sort of trying to revive, revamp the whole Cream of Kentucky thing. Get it going back, sort of being on the pace of like King of Kentucky and all that type of stuff. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like they're just trying to throw the names at you. But what he did was try to find really good, like source really good bourbon, and then um, really find stuff that would be like really creamy, really delicious for you know for the bottles. So let's see how he did on this, all right? Yeah, let's get 12, right into this 12 nose. point three age statement, obviously. Yeah. 12 year, I, 12 year bourbon's a good, good age. Hmm. I am very, very pleased by that nose. I mean, so this so, is this is the second time that I've had this. My and, first time. And um, I honestly didn't take time to nose it the very first time. I poured it on the rocks, and I was just, it was after a long day, and I just needed something good to drink, and this was it. So for me, I'm getting, like, very first, I get, like, a hint of vanilla, but then it's just all traditional uh, nosing after that, like the caramel, oak. Um, I was gonna say it's very vanilla forward, yes. It, but only in the very, very beginning. As soon as I, it's, it's vanilla first, and then that completely honey goes away. Definitely getting the honey right now. Yeah. So it's like vanilla transitioning into a honey. Hmm. It is super sweet though, like super sweet nose. I think it's because the the honey, the vanilla to the honey, I think is what really what sets it apart. I'm not even getting much oak on the nose. Uh, it's I'm getting into it. I'm not waiting for you. Wow. Not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Definitely not as sweet. The 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 baking spices really strong. Really really forward. Yes. As it as it sort of transitions. It's got a very, very long finish, and yeah. it's transitioning to the vanilla. Vanilla and oak on the back end. It's all spice up front, a I'm vanilla oak a in the back. A touch of honey now, but it is definitely, it's it's like very, it's very creamy, and it's very oily. It sits, it sits in your mouth. Mm. It has a very long finish that transitions. This is a, a very complex bourbon. Like, very complex. Yeah. Like, it's not just your, okay, you drink it, this is what you get. Like, as as it's sitting there, it's literally, like, getting more flavor. I love the finish on this. It is. It is I think the finish is better than the, the actual palate. Because it, it, it sits there. It's not dry at all. I mean, my mouth is just soaking wet from all the flavor going on in it right now. Yeah. Vanilla, oak. Kills it on the end part of that finish, at the very end. Yeah, I was gonna say and that's where like, the sweetness. Like is. I just got hit with a ton of vanilla, spice up front, finish yep. on the back. Yeah, it's like the very the initial, sweet. the initial of it hitting your mouth. You sort of like, oh, that's a lot of spice, and then it it, it like melts way down, and just you get the vanilla, the little bit of honey, just the sweetness going the rest of the way. Yeah, definitely. It is delicious though. So we're looking at a price wise of usually about like ninety nine dollars. We paid a little bit more. We than paid one twenty for this one. Okay. This was from a small store. I'm a hundred percent all about, you know, helping out small businesses. Hey, you don't get a lot of people through your doors. I get it. You got to keep your doors open. I'll pay you twenty bucks extra, especially for a good bottle like this. Well, twenty bucks extra if it's a hundred dollar bottle. I'm not paying twenty bucks extra on a twenty dollar bottle. No, well, no, absolutely not. But we're retail. Retail is ninety nine. Secondary. 
350 to 399. So if you're looking this up online, trying to buy it online, 350 to 399. Listen, I'm not paying it, anywhere near that. It, it's stupid. If you spend three hundred and fifty dollars on this, you should just go ahead and slap yourself in the face because that is a stupid decision. A hundred percent stupid. I mean, this is good. If I'm spending three hundred and fifty dollars, I'm gonna go and get a Stag Junior at secondary instead of this. I I agree. I would I would pay get something other than this. Yeah. However, Finish what's your top great. price for this? You know, I would probably say I would probably go to one fifty for this. I mean. I, I, I don't it's it's good is it great I don't know like the the palette wasn't there for me the finish was amazing but the palette wasn't there the nose was good I mean I could, I, I could maybe go to 150 I'm kind of hating myself for doing that but yeah. I, I could do it so I'm stopping right at the 120 mark that we paid I was thinking 100 to 120 120 max um, and I really wouldn't go over that because while it's good it's not good enough where I'm going to pay the extra because yeah. If I'm going to pay extra, I'm going to find stuff like the Stag Junior, like the Cigar Blend, like anything else that's that's more money that's actually yeah. worth this. The, this the, should the be stuff. a $50 bourbon. I, I honestly think this is more of like a, yeah, 50 maybe $75 bourbon. However, even at even at retail, if you find this at the $99 retail or whatever, it's still worth it. You know you, you'll I mean? enjoy it. You will enjoy it. I mean, if we're putting this up blind against the Remus Repeal 5 that we have... <laughs> That's a hundred dollars too. <laughs> Remus, Remus all gonna, day long. It's gonna smoke this. That's why I'm saying it's not even worth that much on the secondary. It's good in its own little ways, but it's not great. It's not phenomenal. It's not it's, like it's something not, to go crazy about. It's not that bottle of Remus, which will take out a whole bunch of top dogs. Yeah. So <laughs> that's our review on the Cream of Kentucky 12.3. Let us know if you guys have had it, this or any of the other ones. What you guys think down below. Hope you follow us along for all of our other man shit, and you guys have a good day.